Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the use application or browser activity in UiPath. I am also going to show you one of the error that you might face while opening a legacy desktop application or while opening any of the desktop application, you may find this error. So what is that? Let's learn. Let me give you a little background. I have went to I went to UiPath Academy and then I have downloaded this demo application from UiPath Academy. Now this demo app has got multiple supporting files or the DLL files, .xml file, right, exe file. Now if I ask you, hey, you need to open this app. So what you do, you generally look for a .exe file and you double click on the exe file and you will be able to open this application, okay. So this is the application how it appears okay this is a legacy application this is how it appears now if i'm going to ask you can you open this application in your path studio then what will you do you are going to use the use application browser activity remember if you are missing this activity or if you are not able to find use application or browser activity ensure you have installed the package uipath.ui automation activities package okay Let's say you have got this application, uh, use application or browser activity on your UiPath uh, studio. After that, you generally keep this application open in the background. You need to click on indicate and then you indicate the application. Just by doing that, what would happen? It is going to automatically capture the details from which exe file it is coming from and all those things will be automatically captured. So all that all you have to do is simply let me close this and try to run it. I am going to show you what is the problem with this method. Okay, what is what is that you have to do more? I am going to teach you. So I am going to save this and run it. Now the uh, UiPath Bank app is completely closed. Okay, now see the error. Okay, okay so it did not open let me show you the error to see the error i am going to go to the property and in the close i am going to say let's say never and then save it and run it again okay so you can see this is the unhandled exception error has come okay so i took a screenshot of it look at it how it is appearing unhandled exception system.io file not found exception could not find file uh, you can see rectangle.fif so this is one of the supporting file if you see rectangles.fif is not able to find now this is quite interesting because when you open from here it opens up right it doesn't um, really do any anything wrong right it opens up but while opening from uipa studio using this activity use application or browser activity it doesn't open it throws an error okay uh, if you click on that symbol also you can see this error is appearing now what is the reason okay now i'll tell you what is the reason for example i am going to copy the path of this termin uh, terminal uh, emulator so for that I'll, I'm going to hit on the shift key, right click, hold the shift key and right click and you will get the copy as path. Okay. Now let me open a notepad and I'm going to paste this path. Okay. This is the path. Let me remove this double quotes. So this is the path. Okay. Copy this path. Now look at it. I am inside the demo app folder. I am inside this specific directory or a folder. Now, while I'm there inside and trying to open this, hit on enter, what is happening? The application will open without any problem. Do you see? It is opening without any problem. Now, let me go one step back. Uh, now I am in the C drive. Now from the C drive, I'm trying to open the same path. Okay. Now look at it. As I am in the C drive, it is giving error. Okay, let me go back once again inside the demo app and let me try to open that. So if you are outside of the directory, the application doesn't open. That means the application is highly dependent on the specific files coming out from the directory, the supporting files. So now if I'm inside the directory, it does open. 
like we do right change directory and we get inside a directory in, in, in command prompt if you if you know it right so similar way this application is highly dependent on the directory so you have to make certain changes within your uh, uh, workflow so what is that i'm going to show you i'm going to use something called invoke method activity okay invoke method activity and here i am going to use this method what is that method set current directory method okay sets the applications current directory like we do change directory in command prompt right similar way sets the applications current working directory to the specified directory so this is how we'll be using uh, in c sharp but again in in ui path how you'll be using i'm going to show you so there are different ways this is one of the way in the target type i am going to select browse for types and here i am going to type the namespace if you see this is the namespace right system.io dot system dot input output dot okay if you see if you type directory you will get this okay directory so i'm going to select that system input output directory because i'll be dealing with the directory now the method which i have to use is nothing but set current directory okay set current directory okay set current directory i think the set current directory did not copy well let me copy it again you can type it so this is the method name so what this will do if you check this property there is something called parameter okay i'm going to pass the parameter and i'm telling him whatever parameter i'm going to pass you need to set that up so here if you click here it will come in string and in this one i am going to pass this application path okay where those supporting folders are there it is there in c drive demo app right so it is there in this particular folder right so i'll hit on shift right click copy as path and i'm going to paste it okay so i'm saying the app hey this is the path you need to go c drive demo app where all the supporting files are there and to set current directory like we do change directory cd dot 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 to come out cd and then we provide the change directory and we provide the path and to get inside that so the same function is done through this invoke method okay set current directory now once i set it now look at it what's going to happen i'm going to save this okay i'm going to close any opened app so everything is closed now now let me run it now last time it was throwing error right system input output error now this time because we have set the directory okay i'm going to close the folder as well and I'll, I'll keep nothing open okay now you can see the application has opened okay the application has opened okay and it has not thrown the error so what is the learning from this video when you are dealing with any desktop application and you are trying to use the activity use application or browser activity then check if this is failing that means this application depends on couple of support supporting files so in in such a case for example in my case it was the demo app from ui path and that app was highly dependent on certain files okay so this were the files so whatever the path of this right you need to set the current directory to that path and to do that you will be using a invoke method and the target type will be system.io.directory and here set current directory and in the parameter you are going to pass that particular path of the application that's it okay now if you do this the application will not fail okay it will open without any kind of error so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet uh, in another video with more such interesting concepts thank you take care bye bye